right, so here he is, the undefeated middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. Most would argue this is the scariest power puncher in the 185-pound division at present. And I think for those that would doubt him, he answered a lot of those naysayers in the Yoel Romero fight, outlasting that freak of a man over 15 powerful minutes back in 2019. Paulo Costa appears destined for future greatness, but obviously a big test in front of him here tonight, one he is hoping to pass with flying colors. Well, you know, this fighter, as he makes the walk tonight, is going to be looking to lean on the speed and the footwork in this particular matchup. Got to keep the hands high, right? You got to stick and move and get the head off the center line, given the power that's coming back. But I'm just not sure that the opponent can match the quickness. Exceptionally fast on the feet. Very good at using angles to set up his offensive attacks and very sound defensively as well. So has the reach advantage, figures to be able to use it here tonight. This is one slick striker with which to contend. Right, here he is, the UFC middleweight king, the Reaper, Robert Whitaker. Back-to-back -back wins over Yoel Romero. Hard to quantify, though, how difficult those 50 minutes against Yoel Romero were and what type of toll it might take on Whitaker here moving forward. Yes, but after the Romero fights, there was a lot of time in between fights for Whitaker, which allows you to recover. Because you hear the stories about the guys that say they fight Yoel. No one's like him. No one feels like right. him. But Robert Whitaker was able to manage that over the course of two very, very difficult fights. And he was able to do that because of the fantastic cardio, the great wrestling mentality, and also the unbelievable striking and the ability to stare down the barrel of a loaded shotgun in Yoel yeah. Romero's left hand and feel safe. That allowed Robert Whitaker to keep his belt in both of those instances. And we knew from his debut in 2012 that he would be something special. He has certainly been every bit the... And now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the challenger, Paolo the Eraser And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, the Reaper Whitaker! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, early round action here, and you got to be mindful of that Paolo Costa power. I know that isn't breaking news, but certainly his opponent talked a lot about that this week, especially at the outset of these rounds when bodies are dry and not tired. You gotta be careful of all that Paolo Costa Brazilian power coming back your way. All right, early round action here, and Whitaker wasted no time. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Effective strike there by Costa. 
Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. It's a nice jab by him there. Oh! Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Nice, solid punch from him. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice jab there by Costa. Oh, gorgeous switch kick by him there. Clearly, he has practiced that move and was able to execute on fighting. He can do that and not really tell you where that kick is going. Oh, oh nice right hand. 30 seconds now to go in round one. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, Got, it got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the store. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough you ready to that fight? your chin is. Ready. Here we are, early round two. Oh, how good is that jab by Costa? Oh, great striking from Robert Whitaker as usual. This man puts some serious pressure on you. I mean, you can beat Yolanda Romero the way he did. He is not going to be intimidated by any other 185 pounder in the world. find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Nice shot there by the champ. Nice jab by Costa. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Whitaker gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Oh! You cannot take too many hills. Oh! Oh! Man, is he landing a high volume of strikes here in round two. Oh, oh. oh, another heavy shot gets through. All right, half guard form here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes to the back of the position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And another one, another strike from the top lands for him. Change of the position. Whitaker's back in full now. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Robert Whittaker. Another ground and pound strike lands. All these actions, though, these big actions gotta wear on the gas tank of both guys. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves huh. the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. And there is the horn. Got to feel good going back to the stool after that round. Great round from Whitaker. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Round three of a possible five. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut right here. The big hook. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get back. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Seventy-two total strikes have now landed for Robert Whittaker, and just forty-two percent accuracy in terms of the land rate against Paulo Costa. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percent. Oh, how good is this? Both men going for the. Play. Here. Mm, nice. Big ground and pound. Take it back, take it back. Take it back. Whitaker gets back up. Straight right is there. Under a minute now to go. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. That punch, no good. Whitaker's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Whitaker's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Costa's corner. Looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lift that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cut man's got his work to do now. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round.
They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, that's it. That'll do it. Holy smokes. What a fight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at eight seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still 